Well, it's Thursday night, and that means high school volleyball here in Flagstaff. The Coconino Panthers are in action tonight as they are taking on the Sholo Panthers. The Panthers are heading into this game after a tough loss earlier this week to their crosstown rivals in the Flagstaff Eagles. The Panthers are undefeated at home this year and are looking to keep that trend going tonight. Coconino and Sholo met earlier this year, and Coconino came away with a 3-0 win over the Panthers. Coconino is led by Audrey Reese, who leads the team in kills with 151 on the year. Senior Kirsten Fowler leads the team in blocks, averaging three per match. And junior Jessica McNeese leads the team in digs, averaging over nine per match. Coconino is looking to bounce back tonight and get another win over the Sholo Panthers after their loss earlier this week. And this game just started at 6 o'clock. And staying on the volleyball court, the MPA Spartans are also in action as they will hit the road to take on Veritas Prep. The Spartans are heading into this matchup with a record of 29-1. and And Veritas and MPA met earlier this year, and MPA was able to come away with a 3-0 win over the Falcons. The Spart Spartans' balanced attack is led by Kaylee Nation, who has posted 124 kills on the year, while senior Scotland Manson averages just over one ace per set, and junior Taylor Yarbrough averages 6.5 digs per match. The Spartans are trying to get back in the, into the win column after another tough loss earlier this week to Northwest Christian. This game also just started at 6. And now moving to the NAU Volleyball. The Lumberjacks are on the road tonight as they continue Big Sky play and take on Weber State. The Lumberjacks look to continue dominating the Big Sky Conference and build on their 5-1 record. The Jacks are currently seen in first place in the South Division and the Jacks are coming off an impressive win over Montana State and are riding a three-game win streak heading into this road trip. Janae Vanderplug continues to dominate on the court for the Jacks with three kills per set and just over three digs per set, while junior Peyton Bach averages over one block per set. The game against Weber State just began at six, and the Jacks will also travel to Idaho State to clash with the Bengals on Saturday. The game will also start at six, and results from both of these games can be found at NAUathletics.com. The NAU men's and women's cross-country teams are both on the road for meets this weekend. The men are in Wisconsin at the Adidas Invitational, while the women are in Indiana for the NCAA Pre-National Invitational. The men are currently ranked third nationally and are looking to prove themselves this weekend against some stiff competition, while the women are looking to build on their successful season, where Melanie Townsend has carried the team this year as she finished second at their last meet. The men's meet begins on Friday and the women will race on Saturday. Results for these two meets can be found on NAUathletics.com. And to the tennis court, both the NAU men's and women's teams are at the ITA Mountain Regionals this weekend. After the first day of play, both the men's and the women's teams had a very successful day. The men had two wins in singles play and one win in doubles play, while the women went undefeated in singles play but failed to pick up a win in doubles. The tournament continues throughout this weekend for both teams as they will finish up on Sunday.